Megan, can you please tell our viewing audience and listening audience on podcast platform what your project is and how important to you, you coming to realize the importance of gratitude in your own life? I founded my company, uh, Be Grateful Inc., about four years ago now. Um, What we do is I help people create gratitude boxes for their loved ones. So, for example, it all started when my grandmother passed away with dementia and I needed to help my mom grieve that loss and kind of see all the good that was in there and that surrounded her. And so for that, I reached out to our family and friends and had them all submit their favorite memories, the stories of our family, of my grandmother, of my mom. And I put those together on a set of cards, 52 of them, so that she could open one every week for the next year. And that was sort of the starting point of Be Grateful and the concept of gratitude boxes. And from there, you know, we've kind of created gratitude boxes for a number of different occasions. Sometimes it's a retirement or an anniversary or a new baby, a wedding. Celebration of life has been a really big one. Um, And just lately, a lot of just because. So people realizing that they can't go and see their loved ones like they used to, and they're looking for ways to connect and show those people how much love and and gratitude kind of surrounds them. And I think for me, you know, when I started all this, I realized that I was running through my life. I just, I wasn't present in anything I was doing because I was really trying to keep up with the next milestone, the next next thing that was gonna be around that corner. And I kind of just felt like you'd reach that corner and it was empty. And so you would just go on to the next one and the next one and the next one. And I think I realized that the things I was chasing in life, they weren't the real things. When I go through creating these gratitude boxes for people, it recenters me on the reality of life, the things I'm truly grateful for. And it stops me from running. And I'll be honest, the pandemic was a huge reminder, probably for a lot of us, because you couldn't go plan that next family trip or plan the night out or have your friends over for a party. Like life kind of stopped there for a bit. And we all had to stop running to the next thing and realizing what in our day-to-day life was actually meaningful to us. Megan, I think it's, I really like what you're saying. And I think it's so important that you talk about your project, bringing you back into the center. We have to remember that life's going to take us whatever way it wants. And it's our perception, how we react to it, that becomes, you know, our journey.